All right, now we're going to take the rest of our modeling chocolate and we're going to create our pour. So the easiest way to do that is to make a snake like this and we're going to cover our wire. You don't want it too thick even though this is a cream sauce so it has to have some body to it because you know if you were pouring a cream sauce it would be fairly thick. So it doesn't need to be quite that long. I'm going to save a little bit so I have some to work with. And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to flatten it out a little bit. Again, I'm not being exact. And now I'm going to take it and I'm going to wrap it around my wire like this. And again, the good thing about the modeling chocolate is we can heal it. So we can take this area and we can pinch it together so it's covering the wire and then we can make it look like it doesn't have any seam to it. Now we want it to kind of puddle at the bottom so I'm giving it a little bit more to the bottom, a little bit less to the top. I'm going to take a little bit of Crisco in my hand so that I can get it smooth like this because we want the fingerprints where I squeezed it out. But you can see, I'm going to go a little bit thinner because it seems like it would be a little thinner towards the top. And I'm leaving wire up here because we have to have something to attach our pitcher to, the little pitcher that's pouring our milk, our brandy cream sauce. I keep saying milk. It's brandy cream sauce. Okay. And again, we don't want it to be exact because it's going to flow kind of in rivulets. So sometimes you need to make sure your hands are a little greased up so it doesn't pull and tear the chocolate. There we go. All right. Now once we get to the bottom, we want it to kind of puddle out. And we can do that, again, because modeling chocolate is so great. And you can just make that heal to the rest of the chocolate. It takes a little bit of time to work with it, and sometimes it actually helps to use modeling tools because they work a little bit better. Let me find the tool I want to work with. We can use this, and you can bring it around and it really blends it in. You can get in closer here. I can kind of show you how it starts to totally blend in around and get on this side. You can see how you start to lose that seam with these tools. All right. So let's work with that a little bit to get it to where we like it. Okay, so I'm going to finesse this a little bit and then I'm going to come back and show you how to make the pitcher that pours our brandy sauce. 